Hey, how's it going? Did you just hear that? <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm uh, testing out my webcam and I'm screen capturing at the same time. So I almost want to put me right in center just to see what I'm doing. <laughs> but what am I doing? I don't know. Let's look at what Tammy has on her computer screen. This is my desktop screen, and I, I think I, no, I can't move it. It's stuck there. I thought, oh, in this corner where my head is, is my video editing, I think. Oh, I'm just going to move it out of the way and put it front and center here, my editors. And you thought I was the editor. Look at all these editors I have. I am using right now Movavi Video Suite 21 to screen capture and I edit all my videos or most of my videos here in Camtasia 2021 and I have 2019 here as well and that's just in case, sorry, that's just in case I have problems with 2021 then I can start using Camtasia 2019 or, or go back to it rather. But I have all these other ones. Uh, the screen recording, uh, Cam 21 screen recording, is in beta and it's horrible. It's just this thin little line of uh, this little bar that appears in the center of the screen and it doesn't have any controls. Uh, screen Cam 19 screen record is okay. But I think it has a couple of glitches that I don't really like. So I use Movavi Video Suite 21 screen capture. Uh, both Camtasia and uh, Movavi are, are video editors that I paid for. They're, they're suites, I guess. And uh, but I, through the years, I used to use Camtasia 2000. Eight and 2009 I think or no Camtasia 8 and Camtasia 9 and then they came out with Camtasia 2019 there may have been a 2018 but I think I went from Cam 9 to Cam 2019 I think I skipped 2018 uh, and that's just because you know it, it was a kind of a new thing for the TechSmith people uh, and I thought, now nah, just wait and, you know, maybe keep using Cam 9 because I was happy with that. And even the screen recording was beautiful. It was perfect. But uh, Movavi has the ability uh, for me to uh, kind of add highlights to my screen. So if I, or to my cursor rather. So if I bring this up, this should show like a purple or a light blue. I think it's light blue highlight around the cursor there okay so now I, I use now cam uh, cam 19 or cam 2019 has a couple of glitches I can't remember what they are right now but now I use Movavi's uh, screen recording and they have improved the screen recording by leaps and bounds and that's uh, now I don't have any problems with screen recording from Movavi but I used to have big time problems I would do screen captures of my Sunday afternoon announcement writing now I don't do that anymore but uh, I don't do announcements <laughs> anymore for my courses but I did that for my face-to-face -face courses pre-COVID so I would do, I'd be working here in Word, for example. I should just minimize when I'm done here. <laughs> Since it's the second time I'm bringing it up. And I would type, uh, I would be typing things, typing the announcements and everything, and just going through. And then it would suddenly start to double the screen on me. The document would double. And I would be like, what is this? What's going on here? And I could actually see that problem. And I thought, and then it would freeze on me, and I thought, well, this is ridiculous. So what I had to do, uh, I just had to stop using Movavi. I'm just going to minimize that. And go with Cam 9 screen recordings. That's what I was using. But I think in the past I used, uh, before Movavi uh, picked up its game 
and put out a really good screen capture now, a screen capture program. Then I went from Cam 9 to Cam 2019 screen recording, and that wasn't too bad. But now, uh, this is a new computer, and I seem to be having uh, some minor problems with Camtasia. Usually they're very annoying, and I'm like, I don't want to use that. That's just, ugh. Okay. So those those are my editors there, and I'm just gonna put that back up here if I can. Somehow, <laughs> I think it goes there. Okay, so the next one, next folder. These are called fences, by the way. These boxes, and every time I go away from it, it closes. So I apologize for inadvertently doing that. If I click here, then I can rename it. Uh, I just usually open it up here. My office supplies are all my Microsoft Word documents. I use, oh, and I see I have Google Docs and Sheets and Slides here. Uh, I use Microsoft Word the most, and there I have, I have that down here on the taskbar, and I have PowerPoint also on the taskbar, because I use that a lot as well. So I use that for my thumbnails. Okay. So I also have OpenOffice because OpenOffice is an open source free uh, word processing or actually I think they call it productivity suite and it's free so I always tell my students to get it if they don't want to use or if they don't have Microsoft or something but I learned last night in YouTube YouTube <laughs> is awesome it's the greatest teacher uh, I, I learned last night in YouTube that uh, if we have Windows 10 on our computers, we automatically have Office for free. Now, I don't know what the limitations are for that, but I, I do have Microsoft Office 2019 Professional. And where was I? Oh, I went in here to the Start menu, and I have it right here because I used it last night. And... It's found in all programs, apps, and it's right there, Office. And I was thinking, I didn't know I had that. But, you know, I'm going to keep Office 2019 professional because I really like it. Uh, but this one has limitations as in I don't have sway on professional 2019, I don't think. And neither does this Office one. I have to go online to get it. I'm not sure if that's uh, if it's just online anyway. I have no idea if it's somebody tell me out there. Is Sway Microsoft Sway an online program that you can you can only access by going onto the internet, or is it an application that is installed on some people's computers? I don't know. So that's, those are my office supplies right there. I also have OneNote. OneDrive. Okay, then down here I have utilities, and for utilities I have my AVG antivirus free and Glary Utilities, which is a program that I run to uh, clean clean out my computer, you know, in, in case I forget to empty the recycle bin. Then I have the control panel here. I like the control panel. You know, that's Windows 7 style. I miss Windows 7. I just miss it. And that's why you see it here in the start. As I have this set up like Windows 7. I can go to oh what's that? where is it? I can go to the what's it called? Windows 10 start menu style if I want to, but I don't really like the live tiles or anything like that. And my computer is capable of getting Windows 11, but I'm going to wait because about six or so months. Uh, one, uh, this program right here that shows fences, this is a StarDoc program. And I am waiting now for StarDoc to come out. They're working on right now uh, StarDoc 11 or Fences 11 or something. Uh, oh, start start 11, that's what it's called, and it's for the start menu. So I imagine that they're working on Fences 11 and Groupie 11 and other programs that Stardock has. I even have a fence here for Stardock right over here. But
but uh, oh, utilities. Okay, so back to utilities. I have GeForce. I have a graphics card by NVIDIA, so I have the GeForce experience. And what I discovered with NVIDIA's GeForce is that I can, I was playing one of my games, and I, you know, I'm not a, a so-called gamer, <laughs> not that, not that kind of gamer, not heavy duty into the games. I'm, you know, match three and hidden object games, and uh, that's pretty much it, <laughs> you know, match three and hidden object games, that's what I play. And... I opened up one of the games and it showed something slid out from the right side over here and video uh, experience and it showed me the little controls that I could press to activate it and I thought hey that's kind of weird I've never seen that before and I tried it and it has so Nvidia has its own screen capture program which I thought it was really cool so I've never had that as a package deal from a graphics card company so I thought that was cool and it does have its limitations like there's no pause <laughs> and I'm thinking if the, if Stormy wants coconut oil I have to pause my game and I have to pause my screen capture if I happen to be screen capturing and then I have to go cater to the cat and then come back and unpause or resume play and Nvidia doesn't have that for just regular screen capturing but they do have it for broadcasting so I thought that was interesting and I thought well you guys need to have a pause for when we just want to screen I can screen capture the game if the game's open whether it's open in full screen or even not open in full screen and I can screen capture the desktop which is what I'm doing right now the desktop screen only through Movavi so there, there are no limits to what I can screen capture on my computer. But there is a limit as far as pausing pausing the, the video for a minute or two or something like that. So I thought that was kind of odd that there's no, there's no hotkey or anything like that, no shortcut for me to hit. Like I can hit F9 on my, on my keyboard right now and I can pause the screen capturing that I'm doing right now but there's no such animal for the GeForce regular manual screen capturing only for broadcasting and broadcasting is live stream okay then we have a, a recycle bin and you might be saying my recycle bin looks nothing like that but this has has to do with Stardock and I think it is uh, something <laughs> oh, maybe Icon Packager. I think it's Icon Packager. Okay, then I have the settings here, settings shortcut. I have Google Earth Pro, which is kind of cool. And then I have a battery monitor. So when I plug in, uh, when I connect, not plug in, when I connect my Bluetooth headset to the computer, my computer now has a Bluetooth capability. So that's really cool. I like that one. Uh, and I do that, I put the headset on, you know, my ears, or I put, wait, oh, <laughs> I, put, I put this, and this is, uh, these are earbuds, they are Bluetooth earbuds, and, I don't know how well you can see, yep, uh, so I, I plug, uh, I put those in my ears and then connect to the computer, and then I can uh, listen to the team's meetings and things like that. Uh, so I really like that. That This cost, I think, I want to say maybe $2.99 or something. It wasn't very expensive, and it's a lifetime purchase. So it's not going to renew every year, which I'm happy about. And it just uh, helps me. It usually sits here in the sys tray. And it's like you see about right here and it tells me what battery percentage my headset or earbuds are at, which I think is really cool. I go, wow, how can you do that? That's, that's awesome. Okay, moving over, let's go up here. I have these, I have the game fences and, or game fence, I guess it's called. I have the Treasures of Montezuma. Three and the Treasures of Montezuma 2 and Zuma Deluxe. <laughs> and those are match three games. 
and they're from shockwave.com. I have a, a subscription to Shockwave Unlimited, and I play mostly match three games. I love match three games. And then the, for the clouds, I have Google Drive, OneDrive Personal, OneDrive SDC. That's where I work. And then up here, I have readers. Every night, I click on the Kindle one, and the Kindle one uh, will... Uh, that's where I read all my books. I couldn't... I didn't have any words there. And then this is Caliber, also an ebook program, and of course, uh, PDF to read PDFs, Acrobat Reader. Okay, and like I said, I have a Stardock fence here. So Object Desktop shows all of the programs uh, that are available. I don't have them all installed. I tried Curtains. I can't really get into Curtains. And Start 10 is working. And then Icon Packager is, like I showed here with the Recycle Bin, it just uh, modifies the, okay, see these icons here. These are from Icon Packager. And it just has different icons for what I'm opening up. And it shows it here on the left side here as well. Okay, then I also use Cursor FX. And that's how you see this. I hang hang it. I can watch. <laughs> I, can, I can thoroughly entertain myself by watching the cursor, you know, go back and forth. Kind of just hang in there. Uh, Deskscapes is what you see here with the background, how it's animated, and uh, window blinds as well. I I don't I can't get into that either. Or there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, groupy is when I want to put more than one. I'm gonna do new document. Okay, and I'm going to. Group it here, there. So now I know you can't see it, but underneath my face here, there's there is grouping. There's a grouping there. So let me do another one. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now we have that one. It says document three. I'm gonna do another one. And so I have four documents open, and they do appear down here on the taskbar as well. Uh, and I can just go between them like that. And I can just get rid of them individually like that. And then this one I'm minimizing. So I like Groupy as well. Sometimes I do uh, Firefox and then maybe a word program or a folder and I might group them together in the same window so that's kind of cool and I think that's it uh, fences of course that's for grouping your icons on your desktop screen okay then I have browsers here and I have Firefox Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge and then for calendars these are STC academic year calendars that I use from time to time, and then, do I have, oh, I have, okay, I was thinking, do I have 21 to 22? I do. Okay, then players are, I have a 5K player, iTunes, I put the iTunes shortcut in here because technically that's a player as well, uh, Microsoft Teams, VLC Media Player, Zoom, and MPC HC2, uh, X64. This is how I watch all my videos. I watch them in this program first. But when sometimes when this gets a little glitchy, occasionally an update comes along and glitches my... I'm really sad when that happens too because I love this program. Uh, then I go to VLC and sometimes I go to 5K player. Is that it? I think I'm done. That's all I have on my desktop screen. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a, uh-oh, <laughs> uh -oh. a phone. See Stormy? <laughs> and have a day. Oh, I want to keep it kind of upright and not make you dizzy.
Have a magical day. Bye.